Hey VC, this is Eric. I am uh, back to talk about Power Trios real quick. Uh, Scott Waters showed one of my all-time favorite bands, King's Axe, and mentioned that he was showing them as part of a uh, contest that Vinyl Potato has uh, regarding people showing their three favorite Power Trios. And for me, just like him, these guys are in the conversation. If you haven't heard them, Gretchen Goes to Nebraska is a must. Out of the Silent Plants, a great record. This one is a gold stamp promo, and obviously it's a cutout. So this stuff is around. However, checking out Vinyl Potatoes stuff, which is more oriented towards pop punk and punk rock, which is something that uh, hopefully if you watch any of my videos, you know that I'm, I'm into. I wanted to show three other bands, one that I've shown before. But uh, first of all, Vinyl Potato, hello. Uh, I like what, you guys, what you're doing. Uh, I did notice in one of your videos you had a 7-inch by a band called Dog Party. And one of my all-time favorite power trios is the Groovy Ghoulies, who uh, the lead singer Kepi, I believe, is a friend of Dog Party's. Um, this is the probably, unfortunately, most rare of their 7 inches. I have a bunch of their 7 inches, and at some point I will get around to showing them because part of what I wanted to show in these videos is horror punk. And uh, these guys were the masters of the 80s, 90s, into the 2000s poppy version of of horror punk fun stuff. This has got Hell House Skeletons and then Lost Generation on it. Um, this came out in Germany. It's on purple vinyl. This was the one that was kind of the holy grail, hard to get. I saw these guys multiple times during their their uh, time as a band, and they were always great. Super cool people, nice to chat with. Uh, just had a great time. Uh, always, always loved seeing them. Um, and their music was great, too. Lots of fun. A lot of people think, oh, isn't that stuff kind of light? Um... It is, and it isn't. You'd be surprised how how hard these guys could rock. They were on Lookout Records, and uh, so there's probably a lot of their stuff still out there. Uh, currently, all their original stuff is being reissued. Also notable, lead singer, bass player, Kepi, female guitarist, female drummer for the longest time. That's pretty unusual for a pop-punk band. So, next band is one I've shown before. One of my two all-time favorite bands, The Forbidden Dimension with uh, Jackson Fives, and I think at this point it was probably Larry Van Halen, which was their drum machine. Does that count as a trio? Actually, these days they are a trio, and as a full band, they've always been a trio. Um, so maybe I should have something, something else. But I am actually going to go get to see them this weekend in Nashville. They are playing on Saturday, and so, yeah, yay for me, because I, I love these guys. They're great. Uh, they, they are a trio, a bass player and a drummer these days, and singer-guitarist. Love them. Uh, check them out. They're on Spotify. I did a whole video about it. You can check out. And speaking of the Forbidden Mention, they actually just posted they're already in Nashville. Lucky them. But um, they ran into a band that's another one of my favorite trios in Nashville, a band that they have actually played with, and that would be Southern Culture on the Skids. This is their 7-inch from Record Store Day. They are a trio. They've actually played the Forbidden Mention years and years ago, apparently. Um... But continuing with kind of the horror punk theme, this is the Viva de la Santo, Santo Swings, 7-inch. Um, this is very, very cool. You might remember these guys from the 90s, kind of a uh, kind of a roots rocky uh, bass plane. This is, has got two 7-inches in it, actually. Um, what was I saying? Rockabilly-ish kind of alternative band. They were actually in the film, I Know What You Did Last Summer, they're in the scene, this also came out in CD for anybody that really wants to try and track it down if you can. They were in the scene of the State Fair. So, like I said, new album comes out, or is probably out on CD now, but the vinyls comes out in November. So, highly recommend it, check them out. Um, hope you guys like the videos, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, nice to meet you, Vinyl Potato, I'm digging your stuff, I, I love seeing all that 90s pop punk and alternative uh, punk rock stuff. That's kind of part of my wheelhouse. So uh, I hope to see more of your stuff, and uh, everybody uh, have a good weekend.